And speaking of the idea of the moon representing the divine feminine energy of receiving and nurturing, here's my special report about artist Devorah Weiss. Her works and exhibition explore the energy of the mother and how it impacts the journey of the 12 tribes of Israel out of Egypt into the promised land. It's, it's emotion. Sometimes the spirit will come first, like the idea, and then the material, and then the research until they meet. And sometimes the mind will come last. And then I discover through the layers, through the, the forms, through the um, uh, composition. Multidisciplinary artist Devorah Weiss is casting a new light on the journey of the 12 tribes of Israel. So each side were three tribes. And I knew that what I have to do is to put the 12 tribes the way they were stationed around the Mishkan during the journey in the desert. After a life-changing, higher-dimensional experience in the mystical city of Sfat, Devorah herself experienced an ongoing spiritual journey through time and space, connecting her to past lives and the collective memory of biblical times. I'm with them, but I'm not there. We are a long chain, we are connected. It gave me some um, secure um, feeling to know that I know where is my nest. It's like having the roots under your feet. Devorah's new month-long solo exhibition, Sacred Works, is being showcased at the Osman Art Gallery in Tel Aviv, featuring works such as these handmade robes of the high priests. It came in a second. I was working on something, and I had a vision of the robe, the first one. Kapsu simlotechem, wash your clothes, and itaru and get purified. A handmade book dedicated to each of the 12 sons of Jacob who became the head of their own tribe. There is a secret in the blessing that the mother gave to each son that was born. And I decided to cover it with clay and uh, with some youth because our role in life is to discover who we are, what is our role and a complimentary textured relief work on canvas with the kipot of each son of Jacob. I took the first letter of each name and engraved it inside the kippah. It looks like clay, but it's also made out of fabric covered with pigments of stones that I have collected. Devorah's mixed media paintings are full of rich colors and textures and represent Moses growing up in the house of Pharaoh long before delivering the Israelites out of captivity in Egypt. There is a reason why uh, Moses was in the palace of Pharaoh. And then he went back and he knew what to do and how to lead the tribes of Israel. So the gold represents the um, Egypt um, richness. Moses ultimately died before setting foot in the promised land. He's already lying on his dead bed. We don't actually know where uh, Moses is buried. Uh, he like disappeared, but he left in each one of us a light. So spiritually, he's there among us. Devorah's first major painting of Moses and his staff can be called prophetic art. I wasn't calling for Moses. I wasn't thinking of Moses. Actually, I was painting upside down. I have to, to turn it over in order to understand. Personal note, in the 90s, Devorah's spiritual and artistic awakening dovetailed a personal loss. I had to remove my ovaries suddenly out of the blue. Actually, it's the uterus, and maybe one single egg is still wandering somewhere. Ended up like that, and all I had to do is take some paint, some pigment, and bring the mate of Moses because I realize it's, it's him.
And the rest is history and destiny. It's a big responsibility to bring to life something. Uh, I have to be not sure about the outcome, but that to be sure that I am in balance and uh, I am in the right uh, vibration. Emily Francis, I-24 News.